Hey guys, Noli here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we will do review of uh, new Tech 3 Tier 5 Italian cruiser Yamondo Montecuccio. And in a nutshell I really don't like it. Uh, so I think it's very underperforming, uh, underwhelming and, and I really think it, there is very, very little to be liked about this ship. And why is that? Uh, so first of all it's less maneuverable than for example Kirov or, or Königsberg, so it has turn time 8.6, Kirov 7.3 and Königsberg 6 seconds. Then other things are the guns and not just in terms of SAP that I really don't like, but also in terms of position and that's the biggest problem for me. So um, if you check uh, Montecuccio and the game style, so you have only 4 guns in, in, in the ball, so that makes bow on tactic very difficult because you will have very big problems in, in damage output. In Kirov, if you compare it, so it has six guns in the front and this is six 180 millimeter guns. So they're penetrating bow of battleships much easier and have much higher AP damage. So you can use AP in Kirov on battleships, six guns in front and do really decent amount of damage without any problem. On the other hand, this is something you cannot do on Montecuccio. So you need to throw broadside to use all eight guns and they, there are a lot of bounces because it's only 150mm guns. And in comparison to Königsberg, Königsberg has very narrow um, angle on the right side because these turrets are turning 360 and, and they are off center if you see. So you can show very little broadside to use all nine guns. And they are, they are also 150mm guns, but there is an HE, so you can really light fires with them and shoot battleship without penetration. And the third thing that I really don't like are torpedoes. So torpedoes, you only get uh, you only get uh, two torpedoes per side, and 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 they are very they are underperforming. I, I don't like them. So it's, it's only 7k damage. Yeah, they have long range, but you know you won't take battleship with that or, or anything else. And in Königsberg, you have six torpedoes per side, and and with 3,000 damage, so it's 18,000 damage only with torpedoes, and that makes Königsberg very nice if you play carefully and can close the distance to battleship. Let's say come on the other side from where uh, battleship has uh, its uh, guns, you can really rush it and then unload six torpedoes from one side, six torpedoes from other side, and it's like 36k damage. So you know, with Königsberg, you can go against battleships, you can light it on fire. With Kiro, because it has 180mm guns, you can pen the, the, the battleship with AP. And with this thing, you cannot pen it, um, it's only 150, you cannot light it on fire, torpedoes are underwhelming, fuel smoke is broken, so I, I'm only getting 3.9 seconds on fuel smoke or something like that, so it's, it's almost nothing. So I really have difficulties finding what, what, to, be, what, to, like about, what to like about this ship. Um, Yes, I am a bit concerned about Italian cruiser line and how they will perform. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of these SAP shells. And yeah, so I mean, if you want to get uh, Victory Blitz uh, or Blitz Pass, take it. It has a lot of. Um, I'm always taking it, not just because of the ships, but also about silver bonuses, boosters, and this kind of stuff. So that's okay. Uh, but in terms of perf performance of, of this tier 5 um, Montecuccioli uh, cruiser, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan, I have to say. So let's ju let's now jump into the battle and see how she performs um, in action. So yeah, how to play uh, this ship best is to go against uh, destroyers and other cruisers. So she can pack a punch on destroyers, as you can see here. Uh, so this is, I think, the best use case is just to try to wipe the destroyers as quickly as possible and then go against other uh, cruisers and try to stay as, as far as possible uh, from uh, battleships because they can take your HP very quickly and you're very limited in how much damage you can inflict. Um, also when you're going um, against battleships try to aim on the bow on stern so you don't hit the armor belt and I would say the best tactic if uh, possible if, if map allows it and situation map is just to try to kite away so just turn away and kite and then if other destroyers or cruisers are hide, hunting you you can uh, kite and shoot on them and that would be in my opinion how this ship would perform the best um, yeah so um, 
Uh, it will be funny now, so you will see. Uh, I will, in, I think, in next shot or two, I will manage to get uh, one citadel on this Wyoming, so that this is with SAP, it's crazy a little bit, but yeah, so probably in the next shot. So, but it was also, um, yeah, nice to see. And uh, but if you, if you, uh, I also had uh, in the next few shots, I will get a lot of bounces, and in one shot, complete bounces. So that's also definitely something to keep in mind that if you're, for example, playing. Uh, um, Kirov or uh, Königsberg and you're using HE, it's much more forgiving. You need, uh, so for example here it was my mistake, I, I aimed in the middle of ship, uh, but nonetheless I got all the bounces and if I used Königsberg and HE or Kirov I wouldn't get this. So that's also uh, something to just keep in mind that it's much easier I would say to play uh, Königsberg and, and, and Kiro. And then uh, now you'll see, so I will now pop the smoke and it's going, uh, now I see that it's going like uh, three seconds, then then again, then again, so it's probably because I'm sitting in one place, so maybe the smoke is okay and gives you like 10 seconds. Uh, but nonetheless, um, yeah, so again, all the bounces, um, and this is something that wouldn't happen with Kunigberg and Kiro, yeah. I know the cruiser line will split now, these are the light cruisers and then later we'll split I think in, in heavy cruisers, uh, armor cruisers, so we need to see how the entire cruiser line performs, but I'm very very skeptical about this SAP thing and, and the game mechanics and how it will work. Uh, so yeah, I mean uh, definitely fun to try, I will definitely grind uh, the line as soon as it comes and very exciting to see how it goes. Um, and I hope uh, that you enjoyed it guys and find it useful and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Like and subscribe and see you later. Bye guys.